Hey everyone, it's Gary here from Echidna Sewing and today we're going to be looking at the Brother PQ1500SL straight stitch in semi-industrial sewing machine and uh, what a machine this guy is too. As you can see, the machine is, uh, is, is, it doesn't have anything too fancy at all. It's just a basic machine. It's, um, it's very much a commercial style. So full metal construction, so it's nice and, and heavy duty. It, uh, it runs at 1500 stitches per minute and that's pretty quick. Not many features or not many functions on the machine other than your stitch length dial here. You've got your feed height settings right here. So you can adjust the height of the feed depending on the fabric you're going to be sewing on. It even has the unique brother pin feed system, which is um, amazing for stitching difficult fabrics like suede and that sort of thing that are very difficult to feed through. So the pin feed system, we'll quickly have a look at that in a few moments time. Uh, we'll handle the large spools, large or small spools with your uh, telescopic thread stand here. It has foot pressure adjustment on the top here, which is really cool. And that also corresponds with your color coded um, feed dog settings here. You've got your reverse mechanism right here, very standard industrial feature. Thread trimming, so it has a really high speed thread trimming function, so it cuts the thread when you've finished your seam. And you've got a needle down pivot function, which is cool. It also comes standard with this fantastic um, wide table, so this gives you a great support surface, particularly for quilters. And combine that with the lovely large throat area on this machine, which is something like eight and a half inches needle to um, arm and six inches high. So you can really tuck a lot of quilt in there if you're if you're into quilting or any other bulky item for that matter. The table also just slips off. So when that comes away, you'll notice, and I've done that so you can see here, you've got the presser foot lifter. Now this is a knee lifter. I can use my leg to lift the foot. And that means you can do lots of things, but still main, or lift the foot, but still maintain both hands on your fabric. And that's really a key feature for any industrial machine. And when that lifter comes out, it actually tucks away. If you're putting the machine away, for instance, it has a little home in the bottom of the table here. So that's, that's really cool. We're gonna pop that back in and I'm gonna put that table on. So there we go, nice and easy. And it's a really high quality table too. Just everything about this machine feels really, really high quality. It does come with a great range of accessories. So let's have a quick look at that. Obviously there's an instruction book as you'd expect. Now let's look, there's loads of feet with it. So you've got a, uh, an invisible zipper foot, which is kind of cool. You've got a quarter inch foot. You've got a narrow straight stitch foot. Now this is one of the key features on this machine, guys. Most domestic machines, because they're zigzag machines, they have a very wide foot. Now a wide foot's okay for most applications, but when you're a, a seamstress or a tailor or even quilting, sometimes that wide foot just is a hindrance rather than a help. And so this machine comes with two standard straight stitch feet, narrow and the standard, and that allows you to get much closer, much more into intricate work, and particularly around zippers and insertions and that sort of thing. So two feet, you'll notice there also the foot is attached to the shank, and that's because they're an industrial foot. So they're just designed to do heavier work and better work. It also comes with a rolled hem foot, a free motion foot. So if you're a quilter and you like doing your own stippling, etc., that's standard with the machine. There is an adjustable zipper foot with it. Now, other features that are cool, it has a fully adjusted, quite a well-designed seam guide too. So this uh, allows you to set it up, down, out, so, so on. So you can set any seam guide, seam allowance you like. Uh, we'll come back to that one in a minute. There's a gathering attachment, which screws onto the little holes on the side here. And that allows you to do fantastic gathering using just a straight stitch and a very heavy duty walking foot. Now this guy is amazing. It actually weighs a ton, but that's because it's all metal inside and uh, it gives you a very precise feeding. So quilters, uh, you will love that walking foot. It also comes with six metal bobbins. So the metal bobbins are, um, they actually they actually hold a bit more thread than the plastic bobbins, but they're also designed for longevity and, and life. And, and so that's 
standard in the box and they're readily available. You always, always get more bobbins if you wish. It uses standard sewing machine needles. So the same needles you're using on your home machine will work on this. And that's great because the needle sits up in a different sort of um, position. It, the, the, you don't thread from the front on this machine, you thread from the side. So in other words, with a flat back needle, you can still only put it in one way and that will be correct. And it means there's a huge choice of needles available for you from quilting to microtex to stretch to denim to leather. And yes, you can sew heavy denim, leather, vinyl, all sorts of things on this machine. And, and one of the reasons for that is it handles a great variety of thread. So if you're doing something that you really need a heavy duty thread, it, it loves using the Serafil thread, for instance, which you, you can't even break in your hands. It's really strong. So it's good for doing that heavy duty stuff, lightweight stuff. As long as you put the right needle, right thread, it's going to handle it. So let's move all this out the way. So that's a great little range of accessories. And there are more available for it too. You can get a um, embellishment accessory for it. There are different types of uh, compensating feet available for it as well. So loads of different things there. We'll get rid of that one there. And let's have a look now at how the um, how easy it is to get to the bobbin system. So with the table on, I love this design, that just pops up there like that. This, piece, this uh, part of the plate pops up and then that pops down and you can access the bobber. Now there's a, other machines on the market that are kind of similar to this, but they don't have that easy access. So that's really cool. Bobbin, my hand's probably in the way a little bit, but I'm just going to grab that bobbin case out. There's your bobbin case, standard industrial bobbin case system. Bobbin drops in there. Very easy to load and to put back in the machine. It's just hold the latch out. You can do it with your eyes closed, really. That's all good. We just pop that up, pop that down and that down and you're good to go. So nice and simple to thread the bobbin, really easy to thread the machine, just follow the, the obvious threading path here through the take up spring, etc. And it has an automatic needle threader. Now quickly do that needle threading, it's currently threaded, but let's just take that out of there for a minute. Needle threader just pops down. And because we thread from the left to the right, it's a little bit different to what you've been used to probably. Now I am sitting out of, in the way, but you don't need to see too much here. We just hook that. It's much easier when you're sitting in front of the machine, guys, I can assure you. That just hooks in there. We hold that, pull that back out, and it threads through the needle. So there's more detailed videos available showing you how that works, but it's pretty simple. You don't need to think too hard about it. And we'll pop that thre thread back under there and we'll cut that off up there. So that's all done. Uh, I mentioned you've got all these mechanisms here. This is your stitch length dials. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of fabric that I've been playing around with here. So uh, fold it over a few times, um, just a, a homespun or something. I'm going to leave my stitch length on three. I've got my standard green feed dog setting there. That's normal. And I've got my foot pressure in the green as well. And if I want to stitch on that, I'm just going to, I can lift the foot with my knee lever here. I don't need to reach behind there. And now these machines run at 1500 stitches per minute. So that's pretty quick, much quicker than your standard domestic machine. But most importantly, they just feel solid. So when you're stitching on this, you know, some, you, you, you know the feel of the machine, this thing just feels really robust and solid. Now, when I get to the end of the seam, I can, if I want to reverse, I can just touch the reverse button there, or lever. And you can do that while you're sewing, you don't need to stop. When we've finished our seam, just hit the scissor button and that will trim the thread. Now watch what happens when I I'll keep my hands away from there, lift the foot with my lever, I can just slide that out and I've got a perfect trim there. Thread length will be perfect. Now that's um, that's just sewing a standard piece of homespun, but sometimes you will want to do some heavy work and that's one of the really nice features about this machine. And here's something I prepared earlier. So this is just an old, looks like a denim skirt and it's been, we've cut it up. And I wanted to show you one of the real amazing features about a machine with this much power and speed and, and well not, so, not even so much speed, power and precision. Stitching over the side seams of denim jeans or skirts or anything that's got some bulk in it can be difficult. So if I was wanting to stitch over this side seam here, and I can tell you now that's two, four, six, probably about 10 layers of denim over that side seam. I'm gonna pop this under here. Now, obviously this has already got stitching on it, but it's to show you how easy this climbs up over that side seam and you don't have to worry about it. Now, I do have a jeans needle in there, a size 16 jeans needle, which over this thickness is what I would want to use. And all I've got to do now is start sewing and watch this, it's just gonna climb up over there. I'm not touching anything. It was just like a hot knife through butter. And there you go. So. Um, 
Obviously, I wasn't aiming to be straight or anything. I just wanted to show you how it climbs up over that side seam so easily. And that's a big, big advantage when you're doing heavy work. Now, I can use, of course, these heavy threads if I wanted to use Serafil or one of the more heavy duty threads. I was mending canvas or I have had people sew sailcloth and all sorts of things on these machines. They're really up for it as long as you use the right needle and the thread that you need. So really, really quite simple. Um, I mentioned it comes with loads of accessories. Uh, it's a true workhorse machine. If you've got, as I said right at the start, if you're a keen sewer, a, a seamstress, tailor, um, or just do alterations, or you just have a passion for sewing and you want the best straight stitch you can get, this is it. One of the big advantages too, because it's a dedicated straight stitch and it's not a zigzag machine, the needle bar is locked in the straight stitch position. All home machines that have a variable stitch width means that there is movement. There's ever so slight movement in the, in the zigzag mechanism. So when you're on straight stitch, there's always the possibility for the needle bar to be not perfectly straight. Can't happen on this. It's locked. It's straight. It can't move. Now, I mentioned the pin feed system on this, and this is a unique rather feature. And um, it's great for those difficult, slippery, complex fabrics that tend to move all over the place. And all you need to do to access it is go to the pin feed setting here on your presser, on your um, feed setting, which is the pink bar. It actually has a, like a little pin next to the feed teeth. So we go to there, we make sure that our foot pressure, I generally start with it in, a, in about the, the neutral position anyway, or the normal position. Now, to show you this, I'm going to take the presser foot off. So let me just undo that screw, and you don't need to see it stitching because you can't see what's happening, but you can see the pin when I take this presser foot off. So we take that away and we'll just undo that foot a bit more. Now in the back of the feed teeth here, you'll see there's a little tiny hole. Now in under there is a little pin. So providing I'm in the right setting, which I am, I'm going to put my foot down and we're going to have a really close look. I might just remove that thread. We don't need that just there at the moment. And I'm going to turn the wheel by hand and the feeders are down under the plate. Now, as the feeders come up, this little pin appears right there. And that comes up in conjunction with the feeders and it engages the fabric, basically in the stitching line that you've just, you've just created. And it comes up and hooks into the fabric and it gives you a very positive feed of the, the fabric. So particularly good for slippery fabrics and difficult fabrics where they either slip or don't feed as well as you think they should that pin engages and pulls the fabric through and it's a, it is an absolute lifesaver on difficult fabrics. So as you can see, pin comes up while the feed is up and th the way it works is in the back of the foot, there's a little grooved cutout and that's where the pin comes up. So it's not gonna hit the foot. There is a groove in the back of the foot to facilitate it. Absolutely amazing feature and that's a standard thing on the PQ 1500. Big advantage there, heavy duty construction. They're a little bit heavier than you might think um, but that's what you want. This is designed to sit on your bench and just be a workhorse for you. And let's face it, straight stitching is probably the most common stitching you're going to do for any serious sewer. So look, price-wise, it's on our website. They're really well priced. Um, there's always a deal going on. So uh, hop on there, have a look. If you have any questions, just give us a call. Give one of the team a call or contact us uh, online and we'd be more than happy to help you out with any of your sewing needs for that matter. So uh, hope you enjoyed that. Hope that gives you a bit of an overview of this wonderful brother PQ 1500 SL. Cheers.